five. Skyway is dangerous, it is dated, and it is dirty. Bringing down the Skyway is going to make sure that it's safe. From eyesore to safety hazard, local leaders up the ante in their calls to remove the Skyway. With the base of the Skyway as their backdrop, Congressman Brian Higgins and Tim Kennedy joining forces today, calling once again for the Skyway to be removed. Now, in the name of safety. Good evening, everyone. The two lawmakers announcing today that they are filing a notice with the state attorney general, as well as the state DOT and DEC over dangerous conditions they say the Skyway creates. According to Higgins, traffic is rerouted from the Skyway roughly 200 times a year because of accidents or dangerous weather. And with Canal Side drawing more and more visitors each year, he fears this is a safety hazard that can no longer be ignored. But the move will take some convincing. An estimated 40,000 vehicles use the express bridge every day as a connection between the South Towns and Buffalo. So who will come out on top of this long-running traffic tug-of-war. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley is providing fresh perspective on the long road ahead. This highway does not conform with federal basic safety standards, and it never will. To take this skyway down that's an albatross to develop in our community. Renewed calls to tear down the skyway from Congressman Brian Higgins and State Senator Tim Kennedy as the State Department of Transportation is working to complete an environmental impact study of the elevated bridge for future development. Higgins and Kennedy say the skyway, which opened in 1953, is too dangerous, dated, and dirty. That's why they're filing a notice with the state attorney general and commissioners of the state DOT and DEC. It's putting them on notice that there are problems with this and they better be addressed in a new design. Higgins and Kennedy say walking under this portion of the Skyway is equally dangerous. There is falling debris, whether it's concrete that that uh, has broken off over the years. There are hazardous conditions for both motorists and pedestrians, and if they fail to do something about it, uh, they have uh, exposure relative to liability. Higgins and Kennedy say the Skyway also blocks access to the harbor front and is impeding future waterfront development, but not everyone agrees. I don't want to hear about lack of access to the outer harbor. It takes one minute. Robert Altman of Amherst confronted Higgins and Kennedy at the news conference, saying the Skyway provides the best and quickest access to the harbor. It's ridiculous. This is uh, the most beautiful site of this town. The campaign for Greater Buffalo agrees that the elevated Skyway provides an incredible view. But Executive Director Tim Thielman says the only section that should be removed is the area over the Canal District and retain it all the way out to Buffalo Harbor State Park for uh, pedestrians, a, a tourist attraction. Thielman says they are advocating for the cloud walk to be built that keeps the elevated platform in place for walking, biking, and spectacular views of Lake Erie. That's a, a public space 100 feet in the air with spectacular views that can continue to serve a transportation role. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News. Now, for some added context, the state DOT put together a Skyway project rescoping report back in August. This report estimated that building alternative infrastructure would cost an estimated $600 million. You can check out that study for yourself right now over at WKBW.com. We have a link to the entire report embedded in this article on our website.